Acid can't dissolve gold, can it? <laughs> how little you know, young Padawan. Let's science. We're going to give this reaction three hours to see what it's got. Throw three hours on the clock, graphics team, and see if we can melt this perfectly good gold ring that could have just as easily been someone's engagement band or stayed on someone's finger forever, symbolizing love and unity. But no, we're going to destroy it instead. So, we have a lot of time to kill. You guys wanna play a board game? Or I could throw some movie references at you. Wait, we can cut this out? Yeah. Oh, great, well then skip ahead. So, there's this stuff, it's called aqua regia. It's an acid, and while it's not scientifically called a mega acid, I'd call this stuff a mega acid. For all you dead language buffs, aqua regia is Latin for royal water. Why royal water, you may ask? It's definitely not water, please don't drink it, and no one crowned a king, so... Because in the 14th century, all the chemistry kids found out this stuff could dissolve gold. And by all the science kids, I mean this guy named Pseudo Gerber, which by the way means not the real Gerber, so who knows who made this stuff up. So this guy, who may or may not be Gerber, mixed sulfuric acid with salt, because you see in the Middle Ages, all of the chemists moonlighted as alchemists, and they were all trying to find this coveted philosopher's stone, which no one really knew what it was or what it could do, uh, or how to find it, or why they were looking for it, or who Nicholas Flamel was. That one's for all you Harry Potter fans. So these guys were either really desperate, really dumb, or the first hipsters in recorded history, or all three, who knows. Or their lives were plagued with the plague and an economic system that kept them down and unable to break through and make enough money to thrive. So of course they would be looking for ways to either create or destroy or otherwise manipulate one of the symbols of power, wealth, and regality. Gold. Gold being linked to royalty, and up until this point in history, seemingly undestroyable, but only malleable with heats up to almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, didn't tarnish, it didn't rust, seemed completely unbreakable. Kind of like Bruce Willis in that one movie. What was it called? Oh yeah, Die Hard. So, finding something that would dissolve gold was a game changer. Like when Xbox came out with the Kinect, or when Apple released the iPhone. Okay, so we've called this stuff royal, what exactly is it made of? Well, I know I told you it was discovered by adding salt to sulfuric acid, and that is true. Today's version is a whole lot worse. For your eyes, lungs, skin, basically any part of you that feels pain. Today's aqua regia is made of two of the heaviest hitters in the acid game, hydrochloric acid and nitric acid, pretty much by mixing the two together. So let's get this straight first. Neither of these two acids could dissolve gold on their own. Just like it takes a village to raise a kid and two to tango, neither of these heavy hitters could do it alone. For an even more over the top example, example, Schwarzenegger and Stallone. Did you get that over the top joke? Well, you're lucky because I also had a neither is expendable joke and an eraser joke and about five Terminator jokes, but I won't say those. The reason both acids are needed is because each has a different role in the dissolution process. The nitric acid is an oxidizing acid, which means it can change a metal into an ion. In this case, the gold changes from metallic gold into gold three. The chloride from the HCl stabilizes the gold forming AuCl4 minus. As the gold chloride complex forms, the nitric acid is able to oxidize more of the gold and the ring dissolves. Point is, you don't wanna mess with either, but you especially don't wanna mess with them when they team up. Which by the way, did you ever see that movie Escape Plan? With a whopping 49% on Rotten Tomatoes, look that bad boy up if you really wanna see if Sly and Arnie can pull off breaking out of a futuristic prison in the future. Now, I won't ruin it, but they do. Okay, so now with the movie reviews out of the way, let's actually science now. What makes a solution in acid is the formation of hydrogen ions. We have a strong acid here, partnering with a strong acid over here. Who can even combat that? It's pretty much exactly like at the end of Batman vs Superman when they decided to work together. So what they should really be calling this acid is Justice League acid, pretty much. How would you say that in Latin? Iliusti liga chidum? That's what they should call it. But at this point, I'm just buying time for this poor piece of gold. Now, while you can clean glassware with it, chemists kind of use it as a sort of last resort, the stuff is nasty to handle and may not be worth saving a beaker or two. Okay, let's check in on that gold ring. How you doing, little buddy? Well, okay, he's not doing so bad, but keep this in mind, this is gold. So. Conclusion, while we didn't quite completely wipe it off the face of the earth, which would go against the law of conservation of mass because nothing is ever really destroyed. Wait, that's a different video. Anyway, we did take it from New York 
to Los Angeles by means of a very rough ride. I hope you enjoyed us taking gold from this to this in our experiment today. We would like you to experiment with the subscribe button and hopefully it'll set off a catalytic reaction to your notifications. Leave a like if that joke was not funny at all. Subscribe if it was. Five likes on this video and we will dissolve a teddy bear next time. I know you wanna see that. But I gotta get five. <laughs>